So let me just quickly tell you a short story of kind of when I got started in programming and what happened to me. When I got started, I lost motivation several times and that kind of led me to quit several times. And I just remember feeling like completely overwhelmed by the sheer amount of stuff that I didn't know and that I knew I'd have to learn in order to be able to do this. The thing is, I got started in the wrong end. I tried to get a complex app built with absolutely zero programming knowledge. At that point, I didn't even know what a variable was. And I remember struggling so hard with just trying to understand a for loop. And that was like one month into the build, working on the app like eight to 10 hours per day. So this might seem a little bit strange that I'd been programming for several weeks for like 10 hour days and still couldn't wrap my head around a for loop. The reason I didn't understand it was because I'd spent like zero time learning the basics. So essentially what I did during these 10 hour days was I watched tutorials, copied the code, pasted it in and then Googled the errors. But when you have no understanding of the basics and try to stitch together complex pieces of code, you'll have no clue what's going on and you'll run into complex or like semi-complex errors that even if you find the solution, you won't understand how to implement it or at least that's what happened to me. I actually remember one thing that I was struggling with a lot, which was like, I'd spent like three weeks, I think, uh, working on this and I was getting like super frustrated, super demotivated. And it was essentially trying to build some sort of like spreadsheet type UI uh, that was similar to kind of what Excel looks like. And I just spent like three weeks, 10 hour days, I couldn't get it to work. And that's something that today would take me maybe like 30 minutes to do. And it's something that if I would have just spent a little bit of time learning like the fundamentals of programming, I would have saved so much time on this. This video is sponsored by Atlantic.net. Atlantic.net provides great VPS hosting and they are offering a free one gig virtual server with SSDs and block storage for free for a year plus $50 in free credits to use for other services that they offer. It's really easy to use, and unlike many other big names in this industry, they have great, always available technical support, and their support people actually work there, so it's not outsourced. And that's uh, really valuable to me, especially when I'm coding late at night and I get stuck on some issue, then I wanna be able to get in contact with support and just solve that problem as quickly as possible. Try Atlantic.net to develop, test, or launch your next projects. So go to Atlantic.net slash Cal and use the coupon code Cal with capital letters to get a $50 credit. So in order to maintain motivation, it's important that you start in the right end. I'm 100% for project-based learning, so picking a project that you're excited about and then trying to build it. But, and this is important, you need to learn the basics first. And I'm just talking about spending an hour a day for just four weeks learning the basics and then start your project. So I'm in no way saying that it's impossible to start out that way by just building your own app out or idea out straight away. But I do believe that it's a lot harder than it has to be. And when it comes to programming, just a tiny bit of very basic knowledge will take you so far. Make sure that you don't start like I did. Looking back at it, if I would have just spent a week or two reading a book like Java Head First before I started building my app, I would have saved myself so much time and so many headaches. So my strategy, if I was trying to maintain motivation while learning how to code, would be to start out with some sort of book 
because books are usually really well structured and you can kind of take them at your own pace. I would do this, go with this book, so Java Head First, and that's because I've read this book and I know that it's really good, it's really easy to read, and the explanations in this book worked really well for me, I understood them really easily. And before I read this book, I was kind of struggling with understanding what classes and objects were in programming, but this book literally explained it in like two pages and I understood it perfectly after that. And yeah, it's just a really good book. So just reading something like this, even if you just read half of it, you'll get a really good understanding of kind of the fundamentals of programming because it will give you the understanding that you need to be able to learn other frameworks or languages and to be able to solve other problems that you'll run into. So I would start with a book like this and then after I'd read that, I would then get started on a personal project that I'm really passionate about because then I understand kind of the fundamentals. So when I run into errors or problems, I'm gonna be better or more well equipped to actually solve those problems faster. So instead of wasting a ton of time because you don't understand some of the fundamentals, you'll kind of understand that and you'll be able to solve the problems a lot better. I also just wanted to touch on motivation. I think a lot of people confuse motivation with excitement. Being motivated to do something is not the same as being excited to do something. Motivation is doing the things that you aren't excited about because it will get you to your goal. You may be excited about coding on a project today, but that feeling may change tomorrow. And it's easy to do things that you're excited about. The difficult part is forcing yourself to do the things that you really don't feel like because you know it will get you to a goal. So don't look for the feeling of excitement about what you're going to do because excitement is fleeting. Think instead about why you're doing it in the first place. So that's kind of my advice. Don't let your first metaphorical climb be a Mount Everest where you're gonna to try to ascend it barefoot and without oxygen because then it will get really easy to get discouraged and just give up and quit. Instead, spend a tiny bit of time just learning the very basics and then you'll go so far when it comes to programming. All right, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one. By the way, did you see that giant dog run across the screen in the drone shot in the beginning? I mean... Oh dear. <laughs>